Oh, I didn't see you there. This is uh, the remnants of some vines that were climbing across this trellis from last year. Last year you couldn't even hardly get through here. The vines were so thick. I'm pulling them off because we are planting it again. In today's video, I want to show you three simple cattle panel trellis designs that will maximize your vertical gardening space and last probably about as long as you will. Since I was standing here when we started the video, let's talk about this one first. This is a fun way to do a walkthrough over two garden beds. So I have two four foot wide garden beds here. The width doesn't matter all that much. But the space in between here, as you can see, I have a wingspan of six feet. So that's about seven feet from the bottom to the bottom. And all you do to set up a hoop arch trellis like this is hammer a couple of pieces of rebar or something in the ground. I have these little metal bars that I uh, kind of borrowed from my son's blacksmithing shop and put them in the ground and that gives you something to push the trellis against. So you just roll that end of the trellis in there and you push the other one and then you get this wiggly hoop. To make this hoop less wiggly, I then hammer in a T-post on either side. And that T-post right in the middle on either side then is zip tied in place and it's really good. Now you could also put a couple of little T-posts at the corners or something, maybe if your wind was really, really hard, but we got almost 70 mile per hour winds last year and this thing was just fine with a T-post on either side. This allows you to use space and create a little shady area underneath that you might not be able to use otherwise. And it's really pretty. We even have some grapes on one on the other side. Let's go look at them. Here we've got some muscadines growing up. We put a vine here and I put a vine here. This vine is very happy. This vine is not, but this is gonna be a perfect place to just come through and pick grapes. Now, there are much more complicated designs for making grape trellises where these are put way up on posts and there's a lot of pressure treated framing and all that but this is a really simple way to add grapes to the grocery row garden system i didn't really have to do anything except buy a cattle panel and a couple of t posts stick a couple of pieces of metal in the ground to seed it in there and then plant my grapes so really cheap very long lasting easy way to add them and kind of get them out of the way Our next cattle panel trellis design is a design that I came up with. I cut them at about six foot and I leave the spikes. So you use a pair of bolt cutters. Leave the spikes at the bottom. This is important because it allows you to be cheap. You can only use a single T-post if you do it this way because if you cut them off, there's nothing to bite into the ground and it gets caught by the wind. But if you have those little teeth at the bottom, then it's not gonna go anywhere. You can just zip tie it on there and it's not gonna fly out of the way here. This is a super simple in bed design that allows you to go vertical and I designed it especially for the grocery row gardens but you could use it anywhere you just need a little extra space so let's say you've got a rare plant let's say you've got Apios Americana our uh, regular viewer uh, Leo gave me some Apios Americana and let's say you've only got a few of them so you just want a place to put them and just stick one of these things up real quick, put a couple in the ground here and they can grow on it. Or perhaps you just wanted to put a night blooming jasmine in the middle of your garden or something like that. This is really easy. Very, very simple way to do it. I did them taller as well. I tried dividing a cattle panel directly in half, but I found that they were a little tall and a little unwieldy. The six foot seems to be about right. 
and you can make two of them out of a 16 foot cattle panel and you have a little piece left over you can use for a tiny itty bitty trellis or something but this is a, a real simple way to do it and I love putting these things up right in the beds. Our third design is to take 16 foot cattle panels and put your T posts in the ground and mount the entire 16 feet up above the ground. Now, I learned this version of it from a couple in the Ocala area. You know, normally I thought, well, we'll just stick them right on the T posts, we'll put them on the ground. But they were lifting them up about a foot and a half over the ground so you can get a full six feet of growing space. And I posted that in a blog post last year. And I thought, oh, that's great. When I get around to it, I'm going to build some of those. So this year we built three of them because we have to have a place to put our velvet beans and our Dioscoria and our yard lung beans. And my wife actually just wants to fill them all with tomatoes, but we'll figure all that out later. This is a real easy way to do it. Put your T-posts in the ground. Get somebody on the end to hold one end up while you hold the other end up and then zip tie them into place. If you have the big heavy zip ties, it's better than these little ones we had, but we were too cheap to go buy more. So we got these little skinny, skinny, eeny weeny ones and we stuck them on there. But this is a pretty permanent trellis system and being able to go up to six feet really does make a difference. If they're this tall, you just can't quite get the solar energy. You don't quite get the yields as putting them a little bit higher will give you. And now that we have three of these, we can actually get a ton in here. And it comes out to about 90 feet because we overlapped them a little bit in the middle, but 90 feet of trellis that's gonna last year after year after year. No more putting strings and tying strings and tying strings and tying strings or hammering sticks in the ground and having them rot out. This is, this is it. And we were able to get a deal on the cattle panels because we got the ones that were a little bent and beat up. So basically we got the prices that they were last year. <laughs> but hey, it's, it's, I'll take whatever I can get. But I figure we can amortize this over time. Having the cattle panels, really it's a, it's a minimalist way to garden. And speaking of minimalist gardening, the book came in the mail. And these trellises are actually in there. These are the illustrations from the most wonderful illustrator, Tom Sensible, fantastic illustrator from Florida. But the book is here if you want easy solutions for your garden. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please go and buy a copy. I will put a link below. It, uh, the illustrations really are funny. Now, I'm going to say the book is useful too, but I, I'm really enjoying the illustrations. I wrote the book. So bragging about what I wrote doesn't feel right. But, I, but these illustrations, look at this. You gotta see this. Beating a dead aquaponics horse. Thank you, Tom Sensible. It's fantastic. So if you're tired of having a junkie garden, if you wanna get stuff done and get it done simply, not have to go buy a bunch of junk, not have to go and you know build complicated systems and raised beds and aquaponics and all that kind of stuff. If you just want to get back to enjoying growing food, do the least amount of work, most amount of food, keep things simple, clear your mind, clear your garden space, all that cool stuff. Minimalist gardening, you'll find this book very useful. It's useful for anybody in any climate with any level of gardening skill. Just some of the things we've learned over the years on keeping gardening easy. So thanks for joining me today and checking out these cattle panel trellis designs. And until next time, may your thumbs always be green. I would actually also really like to try growing uh, sweet potatoes on a trellis. I think that that would be a lot of fun. Oh, I've been caught. <laughs>